are you focusing too much on street approaching and, uh, and day gaming? And is it causing you anxiety? So I have worked in the dating industry since 2009. And of course, I have seen so many guys who have uh, spent a lot of time walking around on the street, chatting up women um, and looking for, you know, just uh, sexual pursuits or uh, for dates or relationships or even wives as well, which is brilliant. But I have certainly seen it where guys can get a little too caught up in this idea of street approaching. And I wanted to just go over a couple of things to consider if maybe you are experiencing anxiety by going out and uh, and uh, doing the, uh, the day game stuff. So obviously this video is just gonna uh, appeal to a particular audience and that is absolutely fine. Um, I think the uh, the dating umbrella is absolutely massive. It has certainly gotten bigger and bigger over the years. And there are a lot of different niches within them. And certainly just from experience, um, I have been very fortunate to work with a lot of dating coaches in this field and see and even help with the kind of results that their clients get themselves as well. But there is an element of a dark side to it. And um, before it, this gets misinterpreted, let's go through a few things. So the first one is that a lot of guys do tend to neglect the other priorities that they've got in their lives. Now, don't get me wrong, you need to spend a lot of time on something to become really uh, proficient in it but there is an element of you need to still create like a work-life balance in doing so. So I've met certainly guys over the years who have lost family, friends, social circles, even jobs because they've just thrown themselves in doing street approaching. And I, I think it's safe to say that this is not a healthy thing to do. You need to make sure that you have a bit of a balance going on here and consider that you don't need to be just spending or living and breathing every free moment that you've got on the street. You need to just balance that with doing other things, you know, get yourself some hobbies, go traveling, meet people, socialize, make sure that you are still staying in contact with friends and family and uh, none of those above are being neglected. And then of course, absolutely, you can balance that with uh, going out and going on dates and, and meeting people. And if doing the street approaching is the way in how you do that, then I am all for it. But you can't let this concept of just going on the street um, every single day for like the rest of your life, um, you can't let that consume you. Um, you don't want to be that weird guy who, you know, if I'm walking down the street years later and I'm still seeing you stand in a, a certain spot on Oxford Street trying to chat up girls and stand in a particular way and talk in a particular manner as well, um, it's not healthy. Um, and of course, this industry does attract people who are looking to work on their social skills uh, because for whatever reason, unfortunately, life hasn't been kind to them. Uh, and so they've had to look at means to uh, develop those skills. But I can assure you that although the dating industry does offer the biggest, uh, big, biggest risk and rewards, um, it is certainly one of the most farthest behind in regards to any other self-development uh, niche um, in general. Um, it just has a very, because it, it doesn't really teach you um, the full social skill element of things. It kind of teaches you just the, uh, the five minute sales pitch um, in how you can just build uh, rapport with someone and then get you to get to the next phase, which would be going on the date and stuff. Uh, it doesn't really tell you or teach you how to build relationships or proper connections with people. Um, and that's usually where then people fall flat and they do start neglecting just everything else in their lives because they forget how to maintain any normal relationship. So they become estranged to their family, to their friends, you know, any social circles or any hobbies or things that they had. So for the first point, 
don't forget about these other things. If you're going to do street approaching, do it in moderation. You know, um, do I think though you should do it maybe every weekend? Not necessarily. Um, I will probably do another video uh, about this, but it's really just working out that balance. And in a way, you might have to work it out what works best for you as opposed to maybe what works out for other people that you're uh, you're looking to go um, street approaching or day gaming with. Um, this second point, uh, I'm going to keep looking at my notes here. It's just going to be easier. Uh, that guys, I think, put too much pressure on getting results, okay? They are too outcome dependent. Um, unfortunately, with anything that you see in the media or certainly in the dating industry, there is a lot of promotion of uh, that sex sells, um, that everyone thinks more about the outcome of like, if I'm gonna go on a date, I have to sleep with a girl. Um, if I don't, that means I'm a failure or there's something wrong with me or this and that. And it can create a lot of limiting beliefs if you're not as a, certainly a, a coach that I, I hugely admire used to say, which was enjoy the process uh, as a guy called Johnny Berber uh, or Johnny O'Halloran. Johnny Berber was his stage name. And um, he would talk about the idea of um, you have to enjoy the process. And I wholeheartedly agree. You have to enjoy every moment that you're spending with um uh, the girls that you are meeting on the street and having interactions with. If you're thinking before you going in to talk to these women that you are going to sleep with them or you have to sleep with them or the guys that you're going um, out day gaming with, you have to get the number or if you don't, they're going to think you're like the loser of the group or something. And I reference all of these because I've heard all these things before and certainly um, clients that I've worked with, I've had to, you know, counsel them on some of these issues and work with them on getting them to question, like, why do they believe that? Why are you so focused on having to sleep with women? Why don't you consider the idea of just having a really good interaction with a woman? Know if they are, uh, know if you're going to have a good time with them, uh, is what I'm saying. So, you know, there's no point again, trying to, go on dates for the sake of them, which I said in a previous video uh, or my video yesterday, I want you to be going on dates with people that you're going to enjoy their company and they're going to enjoy yours. So don't think too much about the outcome when you're going out and doing day game. Okay. That itself will cause anxiety. Instead, try and be present and just think about this idea instead of I want to have some really good conversations with women. And if I like them, I'm going to ask for their phone numbers and I'm going to invite them out on a date. You don't need to stress too much with um, trying to sleep with these women, which brings me on to my, my third point, which is that a lot of guys then tend to compare themselves to other men and certainly to dating coaches. Um, I know because I've worked with so many coaches and film content with them that it's very easy for guys to get jealous of the lifestyle that they're living. And they kind of forget that, you know, these coaches, this is their job to go out and meet people. So their level of confidence is incredibly high because they've been doing it for a very long time and they don't have any other distractions in their life. They practically live and breathe walking around on the street, talking to people that they have removed all of those barriers and boundaries that were uh, preventing their confidence from developing, that they have now formed this new comfort zone for themselves. So their anxiety is going to be really low because they are now desensitized to any kind of anxiety that they would get from meeting strangers uh, from rejection or from not knowing what to say. So if you are someone who suffers anxiety because you're comparing yourself to other people, I want you to remember that other people are in very different places to where you are. If you're certainly a beginner to doing a day game or street approaching or just dating in general, because maybe you've had a break for a long period of time, then you need to accept where you are 
and that it is absolutely okay the level that you're at. And as long as you are just putting in the effort in moderation and certainly not neglecting other areas of your life as well, then you will in time get results. So whatever you do, definitely don't be comparing yourself to dating coaches. If anything, being able to work with a dating coach is only going to just bring you up to that level that they're at. But I, and I will do another video on this, but you need to certainly shop around for the right kind of coach that's right for you and your personality um, and certainly your budget as well. But that is going to understand the problems that you've got and uh, they are going to take you to where you uh, you want to get to with your dating life. So just as a recap, point number one was that uh, guys can be getting anxiety because they are neglecting their priorities. The easy fix for this is just work out what this work-life balance is for you. Um, the second point is that, you know, guys put too much pressure on themselves with getting results. If you are going out and doing uh, street approaching, then enjoy it. Enjoy your interactions. Whatever level you're at, just go out, have fun, talk to people. And if you end up meeting someone that you really like, that you get on really well with, then ask them out. And I can promise you, uh, in those interactions, you will get really good results um, because it's not going to feel like you're trying to take from someone. You're just having a really good time. You're having fun that other persons enjoying your company too. And why wouldn't they want to go on a date with you? And the last one is this comparison of comparing yourself to other dating coaches or other people who maybe you're going out and doing street approaching with. Um, it's not healthy thinking about that. Uh, it's only going to create a lot of limiting beliefs and doubts about your own identity and who you are as a person. Um, and it's just going to knock you and you're going to just feel even more deflated and anxious every time you go out because you're going to feel like the uh, the weakling of the group. And uh, that's not how uh, things should be done if you're going to go out and do a day game. Um, it should be, you know, a very community led thing, going out, having fun with other guys, um, building that rapport and friendship with each other, as well as, again, just having good conversations with people and also respecting that you've got a normal life. You've got a job, you've got family, friends and stuff. You've maybe got hobbies and things, you know, you're not going to be living and breathing on the street all of the time trying to talk to people, unlike what coaches do. So understand that there is a reason why coaches are good. It's because talking to people is their job. Uh, whereas for you, it will be more of a hobby um, than anything, as long as you uh, you treat it uh, in a really healthy manner. So if you enjoyed this video, please like it and uh, subscribe so you can stay up to date on more content that I can put out that is going to help you with your uh, your dating life uh, and of course to break up with your anxiety so you can be the much more confident version of yourself. Um, I would also love it if you are maybe interested in removing some of your negative memories or perhaps maybe you want to be held accountable with building a much more attractive lifestyle for yourself, kind of with like with what I've mentioned in this video about making sure that you've got your balance with work and life and certainly with dating, then I do offer my integral eye movement therapy coaching as well as my life coaching as well so I can remove these negative memories and hold you accountable with having a really great dating life. And especially if you're working with a dating coach as well, then my coaching will certainly go hand in hand with giving you the homeworks and uh, accountabilities of uh, keeping uh, those standards high with all of the skills and knowledge that you're going to get from working with a coach. Um, and of course, lastly, um, I would love to hear some video ideas from you as well. So leave uh, some comments um, underneath this video. And if anything in this video resonates with you as well, I would love to hear what in particular uh, was uh, uh, sticking with you. So thank you for watching and look forward to more content from me in the future.